can't believe that all immigrants are criminals and, and rapists. They're no worse than anybody else, surely. <laughs> I think it, there's no way, there's no chance I'll ever agree with a single word that comes out of Mo's little face. You know, ultimately, <laughs> what he loves to do is sling a label around xenophobe, far-right, Islamophobe. Get ready for it, because he loves to label people. <laughs> I'm not from the far-right. You if know the what? Label sticks I'm wear a hard-working... Mo, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind, Mo? You can throw labels all you want, but they mean nothing to me. I'm a hard-working British taxpayer, and taxpayers do not want to fund migrants who are coming to our countries and are show no gratitude whatsoever for the fact that we have welcomed them in. We had a situation on New Year's Eve where 500 women were assaulted in one way or in another. Gotcha, and bitch. the police said, do you know what? The evening passed off calmly. The evening passed off well. This whole idea we have to repress bad stories about migrants and we can only speak about them in terms of kind of ultimate welcome and we can only speak about migrants with reverence. I don't buy into that one jot. Surprise, and just because, as Mo says, women are attacked in the UK doesn't make it right. More rapes do not make it right. They gotcha, make bitch. those rapes wrong, but they make r rapes by migrants even worse. But a Katie, guy raping Katie. a ten-year-old 10-year-old and saying it was because he hadn't had sex for four months. Are you really defending that, Moanza? Because Katie. you should be ashamed. <laughs>